Welcome to Vote 2016 election coverage. I'm Enrique Cerna in the KCTS 9 newsroom, and we have results of our exclusive statewide KCTS 9 crosscut Washington poll. Joining me now is Christopher Parker, University of Washington political science professor and also director of the Washington poll. Now, Chris, uh, tell me when we were in the uh, field with this poll, a little bit of background about it. Sure, the poll was fielded um, the first week of October as an online survey. Um, we interviewed about 750 people throughout the state of Washington, and the margin of error is plus or minus four. All right, so let's get going to the results. Uh, one of the things we asked uh, right off the bat was how things are going in Washington State and whether people think that we're generally headed in the right direction, seriously on the wrong direction, pretty much the same. And actually, people are, are thinking that we're doing okay at about uh, 55 percent, almost 56 percent. Uh, about 44 percent felt we're going in the wrong direction. but. Uh, I think people are looking either at the economy and yeah. thinking that it's working pretty well. Yeah, the economy is doing, doing really well. There was a recent report out in which um, the state of Washington was, came in first when it comes to job production and wages. And so generally, you know, people, if people are happy with their pocketbook, people generally are happy. Yeah. <laughs> they may not be completely happy, but at least uh, they see some hope here and that uh, there's some uh, things going well here in the state of Washington. Yes, Let's sir. turn now to the governor's race. Uh, we asked if the election were held today, whether they would vote for the uh, Democratic uh, incumbent, and that's Jay Inslee, or the Republican challenger, and that's uh, Bill Bryant. Jay Inslee is leading at just over 51%. Bill Bryant comes in at 45 percent, but there's more to this actually that is uh, beneficial to Ensley as you look at these numbers. Yeah, so the, so the issue is, is that these numbers that Enrique just quoted, these include people who we term leaners. That is to say, people who are undecided, but as pollsters we say, okay, we understand you're undecided, but if you had to vote, if you had to pick, whom would you pick? But so it's helpful to Jay Ansley to have those leaders it's, as yeah, far as what they're Yeah, the people going. who are undecided as far as we're concerned right now are leaning towards, decisively towards Jay Ansley. All right, let's turn now to the state legislature. Mm -hmm. uh, whether people have a favorable or a somewhat favorable or unfavorable opinion. Uh, at this point, they have a somewhat unfavorable opinion of the legislature. And I'm sure that a great deal of that is that they look at uh, what they consider to be gridlock yep. and also the issues of uh, funding of public education is a big big issue. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that continues to be a burr under the collective saddle of, uh, of the uh, the, uh, Washington lawmakers. State. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And All right. lawmakers as well. Let's look at the Senate race. And this is where we have uh, the Democratic incumbent, longtime Democratic incumbent Patty Murray, uh, facing uh, Republican challenger Chris Vance. Mm -hmm. Patty Murray uh, having a comfortable lead at this point at uh, just over 55%. Chris Vance, uh, 39 uh, percent, just a little bit over 39 percent, but he's got a tough road if he's going to try to uh, defeat Patty Murray at this point. It isn't looking good. All right. Now, we also asked uh, what people viewed of Congress, uh, mm -hmm. and again, it's like uh, what they thought of our state legislature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, lawmakers are not getting a very favorable view. At this point, most people say very unfavorable. I'm sure it's the gridlock that's going on there, the infighting that's going on there. Forty-seven <laughs> percent uh, people very unhappy with what is happening in Congress and the fact that not much is going on there. Presidential race. Uh, we look now at uh, Hillary Clinton, the Democrat, versus Donald Trump, the Republican. Uh, we are a blue state, mm -hmm, uh, and mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton is uh, doing well, over 50 percent, yeah. uh, 53 percent to Donald Trump's 39 percent. Yeah. And, and if you look at the numbers, break them down easily. I mean, Puget Sound is always going to be strong for mm -hmm. Democrats, and mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton doing very well there. Uh, Eastern Washington, uh, Donald Trump is going to be yeah. doing well there. Yes, so yes. that's how it's going to break down. All right, let's look at the uh, statewide initiatives. We have several on the ballot this year. The first one has to do with uh, Initiative 1433, and that is the minimum wage increase. And at this point, it's looking uh, very good for this yes on 1433. 62.2% uh, say that they are favoring uh, this uh, initiative, and uh, it's a pocketbook initiative. Yeah, it's definitely a pocketbook initiative. It's doing really well in the state overall. But even if we break it down by region, 71% um, in Puget Sound, you know, support it. 
versus 50 percent of eastern Washington. It should come as no surprise that it gets such support in Puget Sound because we just passed this $15 minimum wage issue in, in uh, King County recently. Right, okay. Moving on now. Uh, the next initiative is uh, 1491. This is a uh, firearm restriction. It has to do with actually risk protection uh, for those that are concerned about someone that might be a family member that they know that may have uh, access to a firearm. They're concerned and, and being able to, re to report to have some action done in order to keep uh, from uh, some incident happening. Uh, and this is leading overwhelmingly, uh, almost 70% of the folks are, are uh, in favor of this issue. Yeah, this is very true. Even in Eastern Washington, it's polling at above 50% and 56%. So, you know, that, that bodes well for this, for this um, initiative to pass. Yeah, and I think also the fact that we've had incidents happening around the country yeah. and people yeah. are uh, very attuned to these types of concerns right now. The next one is, this is an initi initiative that's very interesting, interesting, and that's the Carbon Tax Initiative 732. Right now it is leading uh, at 51 percent, no vote at 43 percent, just r uh, slightly over 43 percent. So this could actually go either way. Um, and so, once again, voting just started here in the last week, so don't be surprised if this actually doesn't pass. All right, we also asked about the uh, funding of public education, a big issue here in Washington State, as the Supreme Court is pushing the legislature to act on this. Uh, people ask if they agree or disagree that the legislature should uh, provide more funding for education. Should come as no surprise that nearly 50% of the voters that you polled said yes, they need to do something about this. Yep. Uh, I guess they're just waiting for the legislature yeah, to actually yeah, yeah. do something about this. Yeah. That's the main thing. Well, but let's 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 be a little more specific. 50% strongly agree with that, right? right? But there's another 28% that also somewhat agree with that. So. It's way above the above and beyond the bar that this is likely to pass. Right, right. So people want that to happen. Yes. So uh, legislature, they say, get moving on this whole issue. Mm -hmm. We also asked about some other issues that are uh, concerning uh, voters here in our country and also in our state, and that's about immigration and also mm -hmm. the status of the undocumented. Uh, we asked this, uh, whether the undocumented immigrants should be allowed to remain in the U.S. to become citizens, and that's if they meet requirements like paying back taxes taxes and fines, learning English, uh, pass a background check, and uh, most people strongly agree with this. Uh, the disagree is about half of this, but if you look at, you combine the numbers of strongly agree and somewhat agree. agree, it's, it's you yeah, know. It's well over 70 percent that agree in some way, shape, or form. And I understand that uh, we called this question from the original seven bill, Senate Bill 744, that was an attempt at comprehensive immigration reform at the national level which it did pass the Senate, but did not pass the House. And it, it, so we're still waiting on that. So this is based, this question is based on that bill. So if this were to happen in the state of Washington, then we would have well over 70% that would approve it. Yeah, and we're also looking at, uh, not only here in Puget Sound, but we're looking at Eastern Washington also. Yes. There's a strong feeling that immigration reform of some type needs to, be, needs to happen. Yes. Uh, all right, let's look at the Donald Trump's proposal of uh, building a wall and uh, to keep the illegal immigrants out of uh, the U.S. And most people strongly disagree with this idea at uh, nearly 47%. Uh, uh, although there's a certain percentage here, uh, we have 24.1% that strongly agree, another 16.5% that sort of somewhat agree. So there, right. there is sentiment there. Right, so yeah, so if we look at the people that uh, uh, disagree in some way, shape, or form, be it strongly or somewhat, we're looking at almost 60% that just for this is a no-go for them, right? Um, so it's, 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 it's clear that this is something that is just beyond the pale, um, just in the state of Washington as a whole. But even if we separate it out and look at it by regional, uh, agree or disagree, so even Eastern Washington is at, what are we talking about, about 45% disagree with it in eastern Washington, but the problem is, you know, there's about, uh, ooh, about 50, 54 percent that actually agree with it in eastern Washington. Clearly the script is flipped um, if we're talking about western Washington, and we're talking about in western Washington, there's clear, there's 73 percent that disagree with this proposition. That east-west divide. Uh, we asked about some other issues, so we just wanted to get some ideas of what voters thought. These really weren't questions as much as they were statements that we posed to them. Uh, and this is a statement. I often feel 
that the really important matters in America are decided by people we never even hear about. And uh, we have a really a huge number here. Uh, I'm very concerned about this, very concerned at 32%. But if you uh, combine the numbers of those who are somewhat concerned, it's like well over 70%, almost 80% yes. of people concerned about this. It's almost 80%. So this question gets at the political climate in which we currently live, right? There's a lot of suspicion out there and you know about who's actually running the country as a country i mean think about what's been happening you know for the last 18 months since you know who you know has been on the national political scene who oh, oh, yeah. oh donald, donald trump, trump maybe right. yeah. yeah and so it comes as no surprise you know that we get these sort of figures but once again if we look at the east west divide um eastern washington that's 86 percent are concerned that there are matters in america that are decided by people who we never hear about if you look at western washington is 75%. So so this is an this is an issue across the board it seems, right? This is indicative of just how toxic the current political climate is. Yeah, as it becomes in this whole presidential campaign yeah. I think is added to all of this. Final question or a final statement here. Uh, the true American way of life is disappearing so fast that we must do anything and everything to save it. Uh, 30.9% of the people are very concerned about this issue, uh, it, but if you do add the somewhat concerned, it's, it's well over 60%. Uh, the people are, are concerned about the way the country is changing, and, and I suppose it could be so many different things about this. It could be, yes, so this could be a reference to immigration. This could be a reference to the changing demographics overall when it comes to race. It's, this could also be indicative of the idea that there is cultural change happening too, right? And what I mean by that is cultural change, you know, the increasing visibility of, you know, the same-sex movement, right? And also the increasing visibility, surprise, surprise, of women and women in positions of power. That makes a lot of people nervous. And also I think we're seeing uh, concerns about uh, race and police uh, in, uh, interactions and Black Lives Matter growing. Well, but yeah, but it's more it's more this of a reaction to Black Lives Matter. It's not about you know the way people of color are reacting, saying, "Oh, this is the America that we've come to know and love is going away," because we never really achieved that America. It's the people on the other side of the divide who see that their way of life is changing, and we must do or they must do something to preserve it. We are going to be releasing more of our exclusive uh, KCTS 9 Crosscut Washington poll. Uh, the results, we'll be releasing those uh, as we get closer to the election. And uh, we're going to be looking at these critical issues, some of these statements that we just brought up here. Critical issues such as race and police relations, as well as uh, the environment and immigration and voter concern about direction of the country. And so we'll delve deeper into those issues as uh, we get closer here to the election. Christopher Parker, thank you very much for your time. All right. All right. I'm Enrique Serna, and this is Vote 2016 election coverage, and we'll talk more next time. For a breakdown of these poll results, go to kcts9.org slash vote2016.